Well, I've run into a problem at Dave's farm. I can't cut my five kilometers of nice pathways we drive all our crazy machines on because I blew up my lawn tractor motor. I love my John Deere. Wah! Notice the new asshole on the side of my motor that didn't used to be there before. It was a good Kohler. It lasted a long time. Cut a lot of grass. It takes seven hours to cut all the trails and meadows out here to make this place like a parkland. It's where she used to go. John Deere 210, 1979. So for $260 Canadian, including tax, I got myself one of these Chinese copycat Honda clone motors. It runs great. It's not quite the right shape and size to fit in there, but I always believe I can do anything, so let's see what's going to happen. Probably burn less gas too. It's a lot less cc's and it's got overhead valves. Let's see what I can do. Well, it fits in the space. It's a little tight for the oilers. Really not much clearance there. I might have to notch the motor mount plate. Now I got the drive pulley on the one part of it. There's the other part of it. I've now got to measure the position here where it lines up. I've already pre-measured that with the old motor. It's a quarter inch higher than that piece of crap Kohler motor. So, next step is to find the location so hopefully I can use the same belts. Well, just modifying the motor mount base and um, Oily wet grass makes a good fire. Clearance to put oil in, clearance to get oil out. Of course in this world not everything is easy. I just got done welding on some little extension plates for the motor mounts because of course the motor didn't fit. New hole there, new hole there, I've got to drill a hole there and drill a hole there. And then the location of the belts and everything will be just as perfect as it used to be. Hi buddy. Well, I'm imagining this thing's going to work. I just finished it. 3.30 in the afternoon on June 22nd, 2007. Looks like my 210 John Deere was made for it. I've got a hood in front end. I'll put that on after I test drive it. So, let's see if it fires up and everything runs in the right direction. For the first full day of summer, it sure is cold. 19 Celsius.
Well, there's a bike I just picked up last week and got running. You'll see more of it.